What's up guys, it's Jessica for Fashion News. This past weekend was fun at the GCB Fashion Weekend, where everyone showed up for African fashion. The event happened at the Landmark Center VI Lagos. There were fun activities like the trade fair that connected everyone to brands and product from Africa. Here is what some of the vendors had to say. My name is Temada Shradi, Creative Director, CEO TT Dog. TT Dog is a fashion and premium brand. It specializes in handmade leather goods for men and women. So goods like uh, shoes, sandals, bags, you know, leather belts. This is Donna Tyler. And uh, Donatala is a jewelry brand that has uh, two main uh, collections. We have the Signature, which is our capsule and fine jewelry. And then we have the new brand we're actually launching today, uh, which is our diffusion line, which is Jewelry by DT. The event also had masterclasses to teach people about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and business. We spoke to some of the teachers. I'm Jay Alexander, better known as Miss J from America's Next Top Model. And how can I help you today here at GG Banks Fashion Weekend here in Lagos, Nigeria, which is my first time here. I'm not disappointed yet. A lot of great talent, which is really great to see talent from all over the world. And I think we have some really great models coming out of the city too, but they need some proper guidance, proper support. They can go quite far. Simpliest, is that a word? Simplest, Sim simplest person. I. I'm a jeans, trainers, and t-shirts, and I'm out the door. Any, if I was meeting Wari, it would be jeans, trainers, and t-shirts, and I'm out the door. I think they're trying to, well, expand is not even the word. They're trying to make it better, I think. I really like what they're doing. This is my first year attending, and to be honest, I was blown away. I didn't expect it to be this cool. It's like there's so many brands here. It's a it's a space where everyone can showcase. You can come to one spot and see all your favorite designers and I think, you know, it's a really big deal and I think it's a very good thing that they're doing. The other thing is that I come from a line of women and family who worked incredibly hard. Possibly in like less uh, glamorous settings. My mother was a nurse. Um, my grandmother did varied things but she was um, at some point a cotton picker. But they worked hard, they never complained, they're like super happy, funny people. So for me, when people say how hard I work, and I know I do work hard, in the back of my mind I'm like, it's not that hard, you know? So I'm really inspired by the generation that came before. My advice for young people, it's like you have to do two things that are almost the opposite. Stay true to yourself, and at the same time be willing to explore and experiment. So you, as you explore and as you experiment creatively, you start to find who you really are. And when you find that thing, just stay true to it. We also spoke to a couple of designers and influencers about African fashion in general. Check it out. GTB is not just a Nigerian thing. It's like Africa worldwide, like everybody's watching. And then like you get free PR for like doing this installation. Cause I'm doing installation as a fashion designer of the, the one dedicated to Lady Diana and then the Great Gatsby team, yeah. My brand name is Grey Velvet. We are the only retail chain in the country and um, solely all made in Nigeria. Everything here is made in this country. Nothing has come from abroad, so we're pretty cool. The runway showcased African designers like Larry Da Silva and many more. Everyone showed up from actors to bloggers to makeup artists and they all had a lot to say about the Nigerian fashion community. Overall, the GT fashion was all about fun, epic street style and an awesome shopping experience. Oh.